What's going on, my beautiful people from YouTube? Guys, we're gonna talk about Dish Network and Helium together today. And I know it's old news, right? Like people already talked about this. You've probably already seen a video or two in regards to Dish and Helium. I'm gonna do it a little bit differently. My goal is not to be the first one to, you know, like go on Twitter and say, oh, I read this, so this is what's happening, guys. I wanna make sure you keep you guys updated. That's just a grab for views because when you get those videos up early, people that search for those key terms, they're gonna, you know, your video is gonna show up. What I want to do is take it a step further, and I'm going to break this thing down into three easy points. First, Dish as a mobile carrier. That's important. Why are they in the position that they're in right now? What does it all mean? Secondly, I want to go over why does you know the network need helium in the first place? Why is Dish going to heat you know to helium for coverage? And lastly, because this is Action Crypto, we're going to close off with a giveaway. Um, I don't always care to be first about things, but tomorrow I promise you I got a little something special and I will be first with what I'm about to share with all of you. But let's talk about Dish. Why does it matter? Why are these things all happening right now? Well, here's what happens. Smash the like button and we're gonna keep this video going and I'm gonna provide you value throughout it and try to break it down super easy so that everybody can understand. Let me go to the Dish website right now. All right, so inside of the, you know, this.com, this is really basic, and I do want to keep it simple and break things down um, for you all. So take a look on the top right-hand corner, you have the little wireless right there in the middle of the screen there. Um, that is one of the pages that they have on their site, and it's kind of funny, but if you go there, you end, end up here, which is America's first smart network, and they have this whole page about all sorts of things that they're doing, which is like, okay, that's cool. That's, that's interesting that they're doing this. Talk about partnerships. Um, other funny thing, I'm going to go back to the homepage. If you scroll all the way down, you're gonna end up having the same thing. If you look at the the second column um, right here, look at that, wireless. And if you click here, it takes you to a basically the same page, but with different stuff on it where carriers are a little different. So I'm gonna get to this page in a second. Let's go back to that original one because on here, you're gonna see things like you know, Fujitsu, yeah, that's how you say it, Fujitsu, um, as well as, where is my other one? Oh, I don't see it here. Um, but Fujitsu is important for you guys to be aware of, as well as MTI. Now, they are taking a different approach than most conventional carriers, um, where they're not looking to go with established, reliable you know, suppliers. Um, they finally added Nokia to their website, but they're going with two companies, and that's going to be um, MTI and F Fujitsu. I got this down. Fujitsu for their 5G, you know, uh, applications. And I think, yeah, there you go. So this is what they look like. This is what the units look like. Um, and it's a little bit unconventional because these guys are not leaders in the industry. They're just players in the industry. So right off the bat, Dish is trying to do things a little bit differently, right? Like they're not going to well-known um, you know, well, well known manufacturers. Let's take it a step further. So going back to that 5G for America that I told you guys about. So if we take a look, you know, take a look at here, we have Boost Mobile and Ting. Well, let's take a look at Ting. So if you go on Ting's website and you actually scroll all the way down, if you're not in the US, Ting is a mobile carrier here that provides cheap plans for like, um, like prepaid stuff basically is how they, they, they make it work. But if you scroll all the way down, you're gonna see that Dish Wireless LLC. So Dish owns Ting. A more important one that they are getting a little bit in trouble right now is going to be Boost Mobile. And now let me show you. Now, same idea. Scroll all the way down the page and you're going to see down here, you have 2021 copyright for Dish Wireless LLC. So it's not Dish Wireless per se, they're already implementing these things. I mean, you can actually see like these little three icons here, they're all dish related. So it's sling for the blue one. It's uh, the red one is gonna be dish and the yellow one is boost mobile. So th this is where I'm going with this. So I wanna make sure you guys understand the full picture of what's happening. Uh, what is this? Uh, dish network to pay $210 million. Oh no, this is just them messing up back in 20, you know, 2009 and having to pay $210 million. Um, yeah, that's not what I'm going for. I'm going for this one right here. So Justice Department congratulates T-Mobile and Dish for closing the boost um, divesture to sure. Here's what it is. Basically, Boost Mobile was uh, a part of Sprint. 
Um, and Sprint got dissolved and, you know, uh, basically acquired by T-Mobile. But part of that is that Boost had to go somewhere else. And Dish bought Boost. Now, here's the issue. Um, T-Mobile doesn't want to support Boost. They're just like, yeah, I mean, we'll keep towers running for as long as we have to, but we're not interested in, you know, basically having carrying your network on our backs. And they have gone ahead and said, ah, we're going to shut down the towers that you guys are using for Boost and you need to figure something out, which comes to the next part. And this is July, you know, this is one of these, you know, basically got all happy about things was July 1st, 2020. Now, take a look at this. Lotmakers urged the OJ review of T-Mobile Dish Spat. Here's why. Here's what's going on. Um, they are just shutting down. Here's what we're doing. Um, T-Mobile announced it was shut down Sprint CDMA network on January 1st, 2022. This is bad. Um, basically, what T-Mobile is saying is that they're they're doing what they're supposed to. They gave the notice, they gave the six months notice required by their contract to T-Mobile that they're going to shut it down. And you know, basically, Boost Mobile needs to take care of their customers and provide network connectivity. Otherwise, they're in trouble. They're going to be in trouble, you know, uh, with the DOJ, and that's bad, really bad for them. So this is where Helium comes in to you know my my point number two because. You know, what the DOJ say, and this is the verge, I'll go right to the top. DOJ letter tells Dish and T-Mobile to figure it out <laughs> or else this was on August 10th. So, you know, fast forward a year later, things are like getting a little dicey. Um, at the end of the day, the DOJ is basically saying, you guys need to just sort this out. Um, so the vision cannot yet determine whether the notice provided will have been reason reasonable for January 1st, 2022 shutdown. Let all the facts of circumstances that transpired. However, Dish undertakes all reasonable efforts to transition um, its customers off the CDMA network, and a substantial portion are still remaining at the end of the period. So they are basically in trouble if they don't figure something out. And I believe that the reason why Helium is so nice um, for them is because it gives them a way out. It's a way for them to essentially um, have immediate network coverage without having to worry about um anything else like they're just looking for partners and um at the end of the day and i'll pull this up here which is the actual um you know press release from them um and I'll, i got a little bit of beef with this press release I'll make it bigger that way you can actually read it on screen for you guys um i'll just go ahead and click accept there um at the end of the day they're talking about how they're really excited that you know they're implementing um this new ability to connect to the network now here's the thing they talk about how this is no stranger to the blockchain in 2014 became the largest company to begin accepting bitcoin blah 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 great um they're just basically talking about we are going to have an, a way to connect to more you know nodes that's it we're going to be able to have access to more towers and it's a good thing all right and then they go on to say that Helium decentralized wireless network coverage has rapidly grown to over 240,000 LoRa-based hotspots across 21,000 cities in North America, Europe, and Asia. Guys, like you're stretching the truth. Like at the end of the day, Dish doesn't care about things that are not 5G. These hotspots are not 5G spots. Like that's not what's going on. Like just be honest. Like don't try to you know, pump things up and, you know, embellish the truth. Yes, they do have that many hotspots out there, but it's nothing to do with the stuff that you guys care about. So, yeah, I mean, that's that's my pet peeve with this, you know, uh, PR post here. It's just it's not the full truth. Now, here, that's what's happening. So you have Dish who actually needs to provide connectivity because of Boost because they don't want to get in trouble with the DOJ. That's the reason this is taking place. Is it good for Helium? Sure, it's gonna provide you know additional devices that are gonna be roaming out there that are gonna wanna connect to the Helium network. Wonderful, it's gonna provide you know people that do have the, the Freedom 5 boxes a little income. I, I like that, it's a good thing. But people aren't so smart. Let me show you this last article here. This partners with Helium on hotspot model featuring CBRS blockchain. Now, 
So this year, um, again, you see that? This is what I want you to pay attention. Anytime you see things written out like this, this points out that it's no stranger to the blockchain. Having been the largest company to begin, like they just copy stuff from press releases. So, you know, the PR team put this out there, reach out to a bunch of people, and hopefully somebody catches on and, you know, writes about it. Like that's the goal. I don't want to be the person doing it the first, you know, the first day because I want to actually do my due diligence and go into it and find little nuggets like this. So Chris Ur Urgen, head of Dish Office of Innovation. Um, this is really important for you to know. This is not just some dude. This is some big guy in Dish, right? And Dish first met Helium about three years ago, and Helium has made quite a bit of headway since then. Wonderful. Now, here's where it matters, the stuff that he's saying. We started to discuss how we might leverage the same strength to bring both opportunities for people who want to help build out networks and for our customers to offload traffic in an area that maybe otherwise doesn't have connectivity. This is really just the beginning. We've announced the partnership and now we have to go execute on it. All right, so this is, I don't hear anybody talking about this. What does this mean? Does this mean that you're bringing opportunities for people who want to help build out networks? Is that dish customers? Are you gonna be able, are you gonna be selling hotspots to your dish customers and implementing some of this stuff? Like, is that what's coming? Is that what's next? I would love to see what this agreement would looks like between Helium and T-Mobile. Because at the end of the day, it's a people's network. So shouldn't we be, you know, shouldn't we know what, what we are being signed up to do? That would be a lovely thing to have, you know, to be able to get a hold of. Not only that, um, he, he made a big mistake with what he said here, in my opinion. But um, it, here's what I was talking about. So it's worth noting that there are no plans to use this as a means for DISH to meet FCC's 5G network build-out requirements. We're on track to satisfy those from the macro layer. Um, <laughs> it's a grassroots ecosystem, and DISH can't rely on that to satisfy something that's so important to us so bro like chris real talk right now if you're joining a new network if you're partnering with somebody don't say that you can't trust it you can't rely on it like that's just bad business basically what you're saying is yeah this is a backup that's why we're you know signing out with helium Again, I would love to see that contract. I would love to see that agreement between the two companies because it, it, this is weird. I don't know why in the world you as a business person would say this. It makes me a little bit worried because um, you go on to say that, <laughs> geez, like this is crazy. It's a good place for gap filling. So yeah, I'm, I'm a little interested now. Like what's the, purpose then is it to really build you know push out new devices of your own since you're partnering up with you know um what are these guys uh you know mti and uh fujitsu like is that what it is like i really want to understand because a smart business person would not make that kind of statement so just just wondering again just wondering and for piece number three um i wanted to do this giveaway thing here and I've been thinking about, so last video, uh, I told you guys to comment down below for a giveaway, and I'm just gonna pick the person and then give you one less bit of information. All right, that's in there. I'm gonna get my, I'm gonna filter duplicate. There we go, filter duplicate, 63. All right, here we go. You guys are not seeing this, you should probably see it. So 63 people, there is the link, filter duplicates, I'm gonna hit start. See, Marvin, heading over to the Discord, you got an NFT bud um, waiting for you, just open a ticket. At the end of the day, I tell you guys this all the time that I'm trying to provide you guys with value and that's why I'm like, hey, hit the like button so that more people can see this. Um, I actually just got some new Yeti mugs in and I'm I'm gonna get that out. So yeah, that's the plan. It's to give you guys more stuff. It's to provide you guys with more things. And remember, there's always more to these videos than meets the eye. Just like I said in the beginning about Dish because it just never ends here. But yeah, you know, it keeps going. We're, you know, we're connecting with people. We're helping people in the community. Thank you so much for everybody on Discord that's helping each other out. And my goal is to provide you guys with value. And like I said, maybe this video wasn't the first to show you guys something, but tomorrow, tomorrow's video, yeah, that one definitely will be. So I will see you guys. And yeah, thank you so much for all the support, love, and I will see you on that next video. Take care.
So, I guess I should do a little sneak peek of what I'm talking about. Um, Helium and Deeper Network. So, things are moving along, and I have some exclusive footage of what you guys can expect. And I'm going to just, uh, I'll tell you this. Um, let's do that giveaway for this Yeti mug that I was talking about. Um, tell me on the comments below which manufacturer you guys are most excited about when it comes to Helium miners. Like, just let me know, like, you really want to see X the manufacturer or Y manufacturer. Um, I'm really excited for a deeper because I've seen how their units work. I've seen how they function. And since you guys made it all the way to this part of the video, I will give you guys this little sneak peek here. So that is the HNT miner from Deeper Network. Right? Good stuff. Tomorrow, there will be a lot more in regards to that. But um, yeah, leave your comment down below. I'll pick somebody to draw that Yeti mug. And I guess it's a 10,000 subscriber video, hopefully tomorrow, right? If I reach that 10,000 subscribers, um, I will do maybe an additional giveaway and I'll do it, you know, while the video is premiering, which would be pretty cool. So I really appreciate all of you. Thank you so much. And we'll see you guys on the next video. Take care.